Hello guys, so today I want to show you how to remove the background on an image by using GIMP. In this case, this is here the version 2.822, but this works in the same way for the other version. So we want to remove the background and then have basically a transparency behind the rest of the image that we leave. So in this case, I'm loading here a small example image i'm just going to drag and drop this in here and as soon as this is loaded i'm going to zoom in a little bit so that we are uh, use the entire screen here i'm going to uh, go to view in the menu bar and then uh, to zoom and then you can see here fit image to window that's what i'm going to use in this case so that we can see this really well and so the next thing that we need to do is make sure that we do have a transparency layer in this image and in order to ensure that we do have that, we go here uh, to layer in the menu bar and then you go down to uh, transparency and you say add alpha channel. So we need this. And then if you take a look here on the right side, this image here, the, the name of the image actually just changed from bold to just a normal font. And uh, now we can start uh, selecting the uh, area that we want to keep or the area that we want to remove and uh, in this case we have here this uh, nice picture of this lady here and we want to keep the lady and we want to remove the entire background and there is multiple ways how we can do this but I'm going to select here in the tool section here this free select tool that's what I'm going to use here in this case so uh, we're going to uh, basically create a path around the uh, image of the lady here and then the rest we're going to uh, delete later. So I'm just going to start at just some random point and uh, you see here this nice little path that we can create here just by clicking on uh, different positions here. So you see I'm just going to go all around this the outline of the lady and you see here this little, this little dots here that we're creating every time I'm going to click on a new spot and then there's a line that cre uh, connects these spots. So you want to make sure that you just follow the outline of whatever uh, image you want to cut out or that you want to uh, keep remaining. And uh, we can actually fast forward this in a second. I just want to show you one more thing here in case you're going to make a mistake and you accidentally select a uh, position that you don't really mean to select. and uh, now in this case you see here I went a little bit too far down in this in the hair here so uh, you see now when I just hover over this dot here then I can just uh, basically select this see how this highlights and as soon as it highlights you just click on it and then you can easily move this spot this dot around so uh, that's how you can easily fix if you uh, create a fix if you have made a small mistake and after you've made your uh, correction then you can just easily continue with uh, going along the path that you want to create. And uh, so now let me uh, fast forward this a little bit so that we don't have to wait the entire time here because this can take a little bit longer depending on how accurate you want to work here. Okay, so now we are almost back to the starting position for where we uh, started with the outline of the lady here and uh, now in order to complete the, sele the selection, we're just going to select the starting point once more and that completes our selection here. So you see now how this is outlined. And uh, now we still want to add a couple more selections here that we want to remove here. You see here where my mouse is pointing at, that's where we can still see some of the background shining through the hair here. So we want to also remove that and in order to do that we go here on the left side again to the tool options and we do have a couple of different options here for the select tool and we are going to select the third option that is here the subtract from current selection so we want to remove this uh, area this background here that shines through so i'm going to uh, just like before create an entire new path here and we're going to complete it and then here there's a second area here on the left side of the head i also want to remove this here really quick 
Okay, so now we have completed the uh, selection of that area that we want to keep. And uh, since this selection, the line, the outline is really harsh, we want to feather this out a little bit and uh, to make it look a little smoother. And you just go here to select and go to feather. And I'm going to just leave this at five pixels. I'm just going to select OK. And now the outline looks a little bit more smoother. And uh, now at this point, we can actually start to remove the uh, background completely. In order to do that, we're going to right click here and I'm going to select, I'm going to invert my selection. Now you see in this point now, now the background, everything that we want to remove is selected at this point. And then uh, now we also can go with the right click here to the context menu, select edit and say cut. And this now removes the background just as we like this to. And you see here in the background now this checkered board, that is the transparency layer. So uh, you know there is nothing else behind here. So that's the image, the rest of the image is now really transparent at this point. Now we have basically completed our task and all we have to do at this point is just save this in a format that we do not lose our transparent layer in. And uh, what we do here is we actually do not go here to file and then save. We're going to go a little bit further down. There's the, this export as option. We're going to select this one. And now uh, because currently the format JPEG is here selected and JPEG does not uh, support transparency in this case here. So we're going to go to a different file format and what we want to use here is PNG. So we're going to select this here from the list or alternatively we can also just type PNG up in here on the top in the title and then we're going to uh, continue here and we're going to save this now. And now at this point we have successfully saved our image with the uh, transparency background. Yeah, okay, so I hope this video was helpful. If you have any more questions, leave a comment below and don't forget to like and subscribe.